A Fairfield High School community coming together tonight after a deadly shooting a block away from campus. The shooting left a 16 year old dead and forced the cancellation of last Friday night's football games at Armeo High as the school went, to, uh, went on lockdown. And tonight, those games were back on. And CBS 13's Sharin Roger was at the games this evening. She joins us live in Fairfield with more for us. Sharin? Tony Christina, the school had requested extra security tonight. They had at least two to three officers patrolling the area, making sure everyone was safe. And while there were a lot of rattled nerves, a lot of people still showed up to show their support. The energy in the stands was high, and the students appeared to be in good spirits Tuesday night, cheering on their JV and varsity football teams. And I felt good that the kids got a chance to have another chance to play. But as we pulled some students aside, they shared a more rattled state of mind. It's been um, it's been rough. Everyone's been shaken up. Monica Mills was one of the hundreds of people who were rushing to the school gym last Friday night as Army Ohio went on lockdown. Moments after shots rang out about a block away from campus, she recounts the moment one of the suspects made his way onto the school and tried to. To blend in with the students evacuated inside that gym. We were all in the gym just sitting there waiting and we didn't even know that he was in there. We were locked in there basically with him. You felt obviously strong enough to be back here tonight. Well now I feel like a little bit a little bit more safe that they're caught. Sonia Hernandez knew the 16 year old Omar Willis who was killed. That it brings a lot of like sadness to like a lot of my friends because I knew him like a brother. At least two Fairfield police officers went around making sure their presence was known. Do you feel safe tonight? I do. I do. I do. I'm thankful for that. I think it hurts every parent that's here because we all have kids and you know to think that that could have been our kid. Meanwhile, a short tribute. If you would take just a moment with me to take a moment of silence out of respect. A show of solidarity and resilience as this Fairfield community comes to grips with the tragedy that unfolded and students want to share a message. Put down the guns. No more shooting. Some good news to share. The varsity football team did win their game tonight, and half of the proceeds of tonight's games go to the Police Activities League. And I want to add that the school is very proud of their active shooter training. They say that it came into play that night, and because of it, they were able to keep everyone safe. Shireen Roger, live in Fairfield for us tonight. Shireen, thank you.